Well, I'm going for question uh, 1.1.1.1, 1. 1. 1. 1. let's say so for x. Uh, in the previous videos, we did question 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. and question 1.1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. Now I'm going to do question 1.1.3. 1. 1. 1. 1. Uh, the question says, uh, on write it here 1.1.3. 1. 1. 1. 1. The question says, square root of uh, x squared minus 5 equal to equal to two roots x and then we need to find the value of x value or values of x so <clears throat> excuse me uh this is what we can do uh x squared minus five equal to two root five root x we can uh raise both sides of the equation to the power of two okay why uh, because I want to get rid of uh, the radical sign and the power of two cancels the radical sign. So over here, we can just cross this radical sign with the two. And then we're left with x squared minus five. And then there, this is like two squared and then root x to the power of two. Okay, so the power of two over here is for the two and it's also for the square root of x. So this will be then uh, x squared minus five equal to four x because uh, here the root and the power of two cancels. The cancel. Now we can move the four x over. That makes x squared minus four x minus five equal to zero. Now we have like a trinomial. Uh, we can consider uh, the last term, which is negative five. I'm gonna write here negative five. And I want to list the factors of nick of five. It's only one couple, that means one and five. And if you need to get a negative four, it is possible if we have like positive one and negative five. And then the fact that uh, over here, the coefficient of x squared just one, we can uh, write x in the brackets. And sub in the values of uh, positive one and negative five there. And then we can solve for x for the property, uh, multiplication property. So that means x plus one equal to zero or x minus five equal to zero. This means uh, x is equal to negative one or x is equal to five. Now, now that we got these numbers, we don't stop here, especially when we have an equation involving uh, square roots. We're going to double check to see uh, which solution is valid for uh, for the equations. Now we're gonna check. We're gonna check. Uh, I'll write here square root of uh, x squared minus five equal to two root x. Now we can see if I sub negative one, we will have a uh, square root of. We check if this is correct, okay? It is equal. If I sub the value of x negative one, negative one and negative one there, the fact that here it's it's a power of two, okay. Square root of negative one is not real. Therefore, we'll say uh, this solution is not applicable. But now let's sub in the value of uh, five. So it's going to be like minus five, we check two, and then uh, five, we set five there, and then five there. What you get here, uh, five squared is 25. So we, we, we left like 25 minus five. Is that equal to two roots five? Let's see, 25 minus five is 20. So it's a like good 20. Yes, the root 20 is equal to 2 root 5 because if you press in the calculator, you can press in the calculator. Uh, square, square root of 20, okay, that's equal to 2 root 5. So this is correct. So this is the only valid uh, answer. Thank you.